I have no idea what this is, but I saw it on my way to the gym and remembered on the way back that I wanted to whip around and check it out. It's in the fire department to the fire station parking lot, and it is a row of completely smashed and destroyed cars. Like, what the fuck? I wonder if this was like a drunk driving sort of seminar, but yeah, they are destroyed. Hello and happy Friday, per usual. It is my day off, but this week I am fucking exhausted. The last couple days at work were so incredibly busy from start to finish. And then there were like periods in those shifts where we would just get our asses whooped for an hour and a half straight. And I am exhausted. So today we started the day with a workout, which I'm really thankful to my past self for scheduling because I would have not been out of bed if it wasn't for that. So we did a little bit of a full body. Um, I stopped by Trader Joe's. I will do a little Trader Joe's haul when I get home. And then right now I'm going to stop at Home Goods and Marshall's and do a little restock of all my supplies that are at my boyfriend's house. Um, swing across the parking lot back there to Ulta and then also get my brother's girlfriend a birthday present. It is gray and cloudy right now. I know it's going to burn off later, but for now, I'm enjoying it. It's going to make sitting around and being lazy with the girls so much better. I am with a little Trader Joe's haul. Hard-boiled eggs, a perfect snack. Also, a lot of this stuff is a snack pack situation for work tomorrow. Um, I actually want to myself if I don't have snacks during my shift because like I said earlier, it's been so busy, so brutal. You need to refuel. So I got some of these chomps. These are the best snack um, together. Protein filled, keeps you nice and full. I got some freeze dried strawberries to add to my cereal. This is going to be something I have as a part of my lunch, lemon basil pasta. Dinner, gonna be some mushroom truffle ravioli with this sauce. Kind of looks like a peppery Alfredo situation. Two little Greek yogurts. I ate one of these for breakfast before the gym and it was perfect. Red seedless grapes. My grandpa said he's gonna bring me over a block of cheddar cheese later today and that is like my favorite snack ever. Cheddar and grapes, cheddar and grapes. A couple of fun beverages. We have a kombucha, two little oat milk lattes from La Colombe. Power C juice blend. And then a couple of these uh, protein shakes. I already started drinking one. Body lotion. Two bananas. Some little cheese to go with the chomps and the eggs. And then at work, I've been really into steamed mussels. So I thought, ooh, I wanna give this a try for with uh, some of my cheese or eggs or something. Maybe with some uh, greens, <gasps> excuse me. Lightly smoked mussels. How much protein is in mussels? 14 grams of 110. And then I also have been wanting to try oysters, so I just got some oysters, uh, smoked package oysters. Let's see, protein 11 grams. Wow, contains 1,305 milligrams of uh, omega 3 fatty acids. 
Interesting. Our oysters are sustainably raised and harvested in South Korean coastal waters. Freshly shucked, smoked over oak, and packed in Turkish olive oil. Sounds good. I'm going to give them a try. I have been really into just trying to incorporate more seafood into my diet. Mussels. Uh, I've been eating a lot of tuna, a lot of halibut, cod, uh, rockfish. Showered and testing out my new little clips from Marshalls. I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup just to make myself feel nice and fresh and put together just a little light face and brows, maybe a little lash. I have kind of been in my Alicia Keys era um, and just wearing face makeup and brows because I feel like I've mentioned this before. I thought I was getting a sty and that kind of inspired me to not really wear much makeup for the summer. Um, it's been saving me a lot of time getting ready and a lot of time getting unready for bed. As soon as I sat down to do my makeup, I was like, you know what? Well, actually, I don't really want to do my makeup. So I just put on my Trader Joe's SPF, which I've said before is like a complete dupe for Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Then I put a little bit of my NARS concealer on. Not much. Obviously, you can still see that I've got quite a few breakouts going on. Did a little bit of a brow gel in my brows, and that is all. I actually am trying to do a makeup and no buy this summer, so I'm running on scraps, especially for my brows. I might have to break the no buy just to get some more uh, Kush brow gel because I love that shit. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to use up use up my extensive makeup collection over there. I have so many products that I have really not shown enough love to, so now is the time. Also. I am going to go pick up some Thai food. I am obsessed with garlic chicken and rice as of lately, the last couple of weeks. And I got myself a Thai iced tea. Gonna go pick that up and then we can do a little mukbang style haul of what I got at Trader Joe's, or not Trader Joe's, at uh, Marshall's and Home Goods. The goods have been acquired. We've got our Thai iced tea. And then this here bag. We've got our garlic chicken and our brown rice. not even realize what time it was. I was sitting here eating my Thai food and then I was like, oh shit. There was only two things I had to do today. One, I had to go to the gym at 10.35, check. Two, there was a restock of I think you should leave earrings and merch on the Big Happy Jewelry Co. Um, first of all, that is a local Seattle artist. All the stuff comes from Seattle, so you know I'm fully on board because of that. And then, it's all I think you should leave stuff, which I am absolutely obsessed with. So it all went on sale at three and everything that I wanted is already sold out. Except for except for one pair of earrings, actually. So I got a custom baby of the year wall hanging for myself. It'll say 1995 on it or 95. I got a custom Brian's hat, a little lamp, and then for my brother's girlfriend, I got these Baby of the Year 2002 earrings. There's the wall hanging. The earrings for her. And Ryan's hat, the lamp. I have been on a, I think you should leave merch kick lately because I found all these um, shops on Instagram and they're having like limited releases. I'm gonna show you what else I just bought this week. I got this chunky right here. It's a little 3D printed, hand painted, chunky. 
Uh, one for me, one for Brendan. This guy has so many cool I think you should leave items like the driving crooner window decals. I also got this I think you should leave trivia deck and a few different I think you should leave mugs. One being this little hot dog guy right here that I think I'm going to give to Brendan. And then out of season two... Oh, yep, I got this one right here. Little Buff Boys, Little Buff Boys to give to David. And then I also got that. do not know how people do the whole mukbang thing. When I'm hungry and I get my food in front of me, I don't want to sit and talk about things I bought at Marshalls and Home Goods. I want to eat my food. And that's exactly what I did. And then after I ate my food, I was in a food coma and had to take a little nap, which also is exactly what I did. So here I am the next day to show you my little Home Goods and Marshall's Hall. Yeah, I have got the biggest bag. Dun, da, da, da. And we're gonna get started with my little haul. So, first thing I got, this is actually very practical and handy. Hi, Tiki! Uh, very practical and practical. Oh, uh, practical and handy. When I get ready for work at my boyfriend's house, or just when I do my makeup in general, I stand in the bathroom um, because that's where the mirror is at above the bathroom sink. And I was like, ooh, you know what? I actually don't want to stand for an hour before I go to work or whatever. So I got this little portable mirror. Hi! Someone's being an attention whore. Somebody's trying to get my attention. Hi! Um, yeah, so I'm just going to bring this over to his house, leave it there actually, and then I can use this sitting on the couch sitting wherever I want to get ready for work. So, yes. Also in my bag of wonders are these little black Adidas shorts. Uh, definite flop because I already tried them on and they're too big. Like, I am not used to athletic shorts in a size small being too large for me, but they were 20 bucks, so I'm going to save my receipt and actually take them back. Next, I got... Two packages of little uh, hair clips for when I do my makeup and when I get ready. I also like to use them to clip my bangs to kind of bend them so when I unclip them they're kind of curved. You know what I'm saying? I just had a little Cosmo and Wanda action in my hair right now. Next up is this fabric steamer, Conair, $17.99 from Marshalls. Always have wanted one of these, going to be really good for the clothes in my closet and especially good for uh, things on Depop. They get kind of wrinkled, kind of stinky, kind of uh, kind of just not fresh being in bins and bags and boxes. So fuck yeah to this. And the whole real purpose of that Marshalls trip was to stock up on bath products. Bath products for my boyfriend's house because I have run out of all mine there. We got a couple shampoo and conditioners from Bedhead, recovery shampoo, resurrection conditioner. I have both of these in my shower at home and I love them. Makes my hair really soft, smell really good. Also from Bedhead, I got this guy, Moisture Maniac, sulfate free shampoo for dry and dull hair. I'm going to take this and the conditioner over to his house, save the shampoo for when I run out of this there. I do not need to be filling up that man's shower with three bottles. I also got body wash, two different ones, uh, Nivea Cream Smooth Body Wash, and then this from Crabtree and Evelyn, Sweet Almond Oil. This shit smelled so good for some reason. Mm, for some reason, I just wanted to sniff it in store. Pop the top. 
And I was like, fuck yeah, you're coming home with me. This smells so good. It's like really nostalgic for some reason. Like I don't know where I've smelled this before, but I have. And I don't know why Crabtree and Evelyn makes me think of being like four years old. And the last thing in this giant bag is the Jurgens Ultra Healing Body Lotion, Vitamin C, E, and B5. Fun fact, I've been putting body lotion on my entire body probably twice a day for the last like couple of years. Every time I get my skin wet, every time I take a bath, every time I take a shower, every time I shave my legs, I am putting on lotion. Um, yeah, I really have noticed a difference in how my skin feels. Like there's no patches on my skin that feel like dry or like dry or unsmooth, kind of rough. Everything feels smooth, even. Uh, once upon a time, a boy told me that my elbows were super rough, so I've always made it a point now to exfoliate and moisturize those bad boys, because no having dry elbows ever again. And there you have it, my little home goods and Marshall's haul. Got everything that I went there for and more, so you know it was a successful trip. Thumb check, we are looking good, grown out. I honestly think by the end of summer she'll be back in business, back to getting painted just like the rest of her brothers and sisters. Turn around and look at what is left on my floor. This one? This? cloudy and gray out right now which I am into but I don't want to get too excited by because in typical Washington fashion I know it is going to be 80 degrees by the end of the day. <laughs> what? Mm. 